John Murray, late per usual, because he didn't kick out some guy doing soccer parlays out of the clubhouse. What a nice guy. What a nice guy you are. I mean, I'm always late, but this time I really don't think it was my fault. I walked in here on time. There was a guy sitting here doing his soccer parlays. He should be kicked out for that reason alone. I'm not kidding. What's that? I said he should be kicked out for that reason alone. I love soccer. You know, Liverpool's in first place in the English Premier League. Uh, they Great. actually have first. They have like rankings. I thought they just all tied all the time. No, they won on oh. Sunday or Saturday. Oh, they won. Um, they actually I, won I, or I, they I, tied, I, which is also considered a win. Sometimes I don't know they, when they, it's considered they, a win. They won two to one. Is that enough? Oh, for you? okay. So they actually won, not just won okay. as in a tie. No, they won the game. They played a game okay. and they won two to one. Sweet. Uh, Thank you for your clarification. My first talking point is about you but my first two are about you i, I did you want what to did i do up? well i'm gonna get to that in the second one but do you want to follow up at all on your kansas state rant from a week ago because now the, yeah, kid, the kid transferred to memphis right of course he did yeah. of course he did i said he was going to go he had like 13 state states 13 universities interested in him and all i want is the same precedent set across the board if you can't play at one university, why can you play at another? If he had a serious misconduct, but we can't talk about it. Nope, not allowed to talk about it. Why okay. is that? I, I, that's all. I just, I just wanted. Why some are we allowed to talk about it? What, what do you mean? Who's the, the K State president said we can't yeah. talk about it due to FERPA or something. And it's like, okay, well, he graduated. Now you can talk about it, can't you? I don't know. That my other thing was. Wait. So what were you? Bring that up. So anyway, the Kansas Board of Regents met today and is meeting tomorrow, and nothing is going to happen, of course, because I've already been told that there is some collusion. Are you considered like a big booster for them? Like, do you have? No, any, of course not. Do Don't worry, if I won the lottery, I still wouldn't probably be the biggest donor at Kansas State. That's not the point, though. If there's fifty thousand Kelly and Vegases that donate five thousand yeah. dollars a year, we still almost don't have as much money as the biggest donor. Because I heard that. I heard that Florida State fired Willie Taggart because basically the booster said you're yeah. firing Willie Taggart. And that's what I'm hearing is that one of the biggest boosters is the reason why we got stuck with this little guy to begin with. And so, the, of course, he's AD not going to go back the, on the that. President. The, no, president, the president. The athletic director is my guy. First of all, I, the, if I didn't make that claim, I was told he was 5'2". According to his Wikipedia page, he's 5'2". I don't know how tall he was because I've never met him. And now I don't want to meet him. There's Listen, no, here's this the guy is not five foot two. That's, that's what like, the Wikipedia page says. Here's the problem, and this is the <laughs> rant that I went off on in Hot Mike with Outkick on Friday. These okay. academia guys, we're just a stepping stone to them. They have no loyalty towards Kansas State. They care about their pride and their ego and their careers. It's no different than what John Curry did by running Frank Martin out of town in 2011. Then we got stuck with Bruce Weber for a decade. Like, for what? That's what's going to happen again. We're going to let some little, short university president run out an athletic director and a college basketball coach. Basically, like, the second coming of Bill Snyder, but for basketball, and the best athletic director we've ever had outside of the guy who hired Bill Snyder. Great. And then what? I don't know. When he leaves, he's going to go somewhere else in two or three years, and he's going to ride off into the sunset, and we're going to be st- standing there, like, hating our lives for another decade, if not longer. This guy's not five foot two. That's like almost a minute. Look at his Google his Wikipedia page. Uh, come on. I will bet you a thousand dollars from our B12 shot that I still owe you <laughs> that his Wikipedia page says he's five two. Yeah, but I don't I don't care what Wikipedia says. Wikipedia is wrong. I have a method. I can't confirm. I can confirm that I am five foot three. That is all okay. I can confirm. I know how tall I am. I don't even know how tall you are, but his Wikipedia page says five two. So my last uh physical, the guy said I, he, he was gonna be generous. And right down six feet because I was that's like just nice. under it. He's Apparently, like, that's like a big thing to guys. Is like that am, six uh, foot threshold. Six six feet. I'm not as tall. I used to be a little taller. I, I it's used gotta to be, be like, like six two. I think the actual threshold should be like six two. Like we're I all got, growing as humans. Yeah, I think the tallest I ever measured at was like six one and a half. But I guess when you get, hey. I guess when you get old, you like shrink. I am not shrinking yet. I have a lot of things wrong with me, but shrinking is not one of them. Uh, at least I don't think so. Here's what I have. Here's one thing that's wrong with you. Okay. So I gave you 
four NFL plays. You gave me, or I already so had I bet a lot of them because I'm pretty I sure I already texted them to you. And then I said jokingly, so for, let's give some, let's give a backstory. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm in this group chat with Kelly. I did not put you in this group chat. You I put you in a it. lot of group chats. I did not you put you in this one. And Lisa. And you can't leave because Lisa has an Android. Yeah. I love Lisa. I call her Lisa. Simpsons reference. Mayor Quimby used to call Lisa Simpson Lisa. Anyways, I, the girls are pushing me for picks. I get four. They go four I am not pushing you for anything. They go four Lisa and is pushing you for picks. And and Kelly, I, I, I texted Kelly after the last game, like, you're welcome. And her response is, I was already on the Broncos. What is that? I was already on the Broncos. I was already on the Packers. Oh. I was already on. And you know what? Packers wasn't the one of the plays. Packers, Packers oh. won. Yes, you were. You texted us on Monday. Or Giants. No. I'm sorry, Giants. Giants. The Giants. Sorry, sorry. It was the reverse Whatever. of the Packers. And I said I was already on them. I took the six and a half. They closed five and a half. So you give me Giants plus five and a half. What the hell am I supposed to do with that when I'm already on six and a half? It was plus six and a half, actually. You, you got to work on your reading comprehension, man. Do you want to talk about... Do you want to talk about the Otani contract? I mean, that was big news in the world of sports. I, I think was, the biggest news is that California is going to lose out on $100 million in tax revenue. Yeah, well, they would have it had they by got it. They, I'm sure they would have spent it very well. Um, so that is sad. I How would talk, you run the state of California, John Murray? If you, had, if you were in charge, what would you do? I think it's too late. <laughs> too I, late. I think it's too late. Um, it's not too late. Well, the people still people continue to vote for this stuff, don't they? Listen, I don't ask people anymore what they do with their life decisions. As long as it doesn't affect me, I don't care. I want to talk about this. The, the afternoon game okay. was Kansas City Buffalo. It was great. So that was a great play. Kelsey laterals it back to Tony for the touchdown, except Tony was off sides. Like by a so, lot. And the referee threw the flag as soon as the ball was snapped. Of course the he did, Chiefs before are, the touchdown. So the Chiefs are basically arguing, that what, that because the play was so cool, which it was, that they should go back and pick up the flag? Is that what I, they're saying? Okay, so in, in my defense, I was watching the four box yeah. with Grandma. And I did not have the volume on the Chiefs game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically how it went down was grandma and I were talking. I was in the kitchen. I'd walked back by the living room and she cheered for the chiefs. And I said, grandma, I go, if the chiefs win this game, you have to go work at Walmart as a greeter. Like we need the bills. It's my best bet. We got them in every single teaser. Like stop cheering for the chiefs. She's like, okay, fine. And I walked back in and then the game was over and they had turned the volume on and you could hear Patrick Mahomes just losing his mind. And then they obviously, Skirted away from all of that. Losing his mind about what? And, and, and the guy that was offsides, he's also the guy that scored the touchdown. I don't, I actually was, I was rooting for Kansas City because I, I needed them in a pool that I'm in. And then more importantly, I was thinking about betting Buffalo Futures all week and then I chickened out. So I was hoping oh. that they'd lose. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so they could get better rooting, value. I was sitting there rooting for the Chiefs. And I was like, what the hell are we talking about? The guy was two yards off sides. At uh, least. It's incredible how, how far that story went. Uh, I think it's I think it's more I of um I don't know what to say. It's the right word. I think it's more of a kind of reflection of how bad things are in Kansas City. Lost four of their last yes. six. And this team is not used to not getting the calls. This team is not used no, to their receivers not scoring touchdowns or catching balls. I this team's offense is a shell of its former self. Remember, you know, they said, hey, we don't need Tyreek Hill. We can still win Super Bowls. Um, and now here we are. So I, well, they did I'm win not the very sure. Next Super Bowl. They did they win did. the very next Super Bowl. I know they did. But now here we are this year, and yep. it's like the wheels are falling off and troubles in paradise. I mean, do I dare say that they were on the nice end of some really terrible calls throughout the few, last few years? Are we just seeing regression to the mean? Are we just seeing more pushback from the league saying, hey, you have to call this even though it's the Chiefs? We were beneficiaries of one of them. I, I, yeah. I thought that defensive holding call, on I think it was on Sauce Gardner in that Sunday night game, yep. I thought that was a bogus call. We had the Chiefs and Survivor, yes, so I'm did. happy about it. But I thought that, it was that's what I mean. So here's the problem is that I, I don't think you can have it both ways. You have to be able to say, 
all right, I got very lucky. That was, that was not a great call, but I'll take it because they're going to go against you sometimes in the same type of fashion. So you take the good with the bad. But I think the Chiefs fans have benefited from great calls for a considerable amount of time. And either they're just coming back because that's what's going to happen. It's math. Math doesn't hate the Chiefs. I mean, the Chiefs are the the Chiefs are the new Patriots. Mahomes is the new Brady. I mean, they they get a they get a good whistle. Hmm. And in this case, the guy was offside. So I, I don't I don't understand that. Um, did you want to talk at all about Survivor? So I did. Um, yeah, I've yeah, gotten yeah. some interesting text messages over the last few weeks. Whether it was, do we want to sell our entry? Um, mm -hmm. How much would we look for it to people looking to buy entries to all of these things that are happening in the, we'll call it the Las Vegas contest market, right? So a yeah. lot of people don't know, but I haven't owned a proxy service since all basically should hit the fan with ESPN, right? So I, a lot, a lot of things I haven't got to talk about because either I haven't chosen to or whatever, but ESPN mm -hmm. said, we're going to pay you all this money. And I said, okay, I still get to do wager talk and I still get to own the proxy service. They said, no problem. I signed my contract. They came back a week later and said, Ugh, legal does not like the proxy service. I said, okay, then I need more money. And they said, okay, fine. And they gave me more money. So I gave the proxy service to Brett. Just said, okay, ESPN is going to pay me for it. Here you go. What, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. I then obviously got fired before I got hired. And yeah. Brett was very concerned that there might be a PR issue with the previous tweets and losing business. And I said, you know what? We can talk about it. He was already he already was changing the name because it was literally Kelly in Vegas, and that was part mm -hmm. of the ESPN deal. They said you can't use her name, so he was already in the process of changing the name, doing all that other stuff. Well, within a few days of me getting fired, Dave Portnoy was in my DMs, going, "What'd you say? Do you want to come work at Barstool?" And the deal was, and part of the reason why we didn't get to continue doing the show was I wasn't allowed to promote any other sports books. I thought at the time, this is interesting, but I thought we were talking about the Survivor contest. We are. So anyway, I've, I'm now telling people like, hey, I don't own this business anymore. And I haven't. So I just wanted to put that out there and make it clear. I thought I had said it enough times, but I hadn't. So the, that's the backstory that I do not own any of this, but I'm still friends. And I made a lot of really great friends through that business. Okay. Now, Brett has some business partners and they're looking to expand on things and do different things. But what I find very interesting right now is the landscape not only of the proxy market, but other companies that have now come to fruition. And that's where I wanted to kind of ask you your thoughts from a bookmaker standpoint, and then also how you would approach if you still had an entry available. Well, you're talking about people that are like, some of the people that are still in it are talking, they want to chop. Is that what you're, is that what so, you're referring to? So there's a company out there. I think there's a couple companies out there that are facilitating people being able to buy other people's entries. So when you and I talked about it, we wouldn't use them. I would just use me and just put it out there, put out a tweet and say, here you go and hire yeah. a lawyer and give them 500 bucks to write us a contract. And we just wouldn't fuck people over. Right. Because that's not who we are. That doesn't mean that other people wouldn't. Cause when you go to the Westgate and you cash in the yeah, Westgate super contest, what happens? You get a check written in your name. Cause you are the owner of said entry. Correct. Mm -hmm. Of course. Right? So that's where the, the the legalities and the other things have to come into play. Well, from what I understand is one of those companies helping facilitate the sales of these entries is also trying to facilitate a chop. And I don't okay. understand well, what, I do. what their motivation yeah. is. That's what's really bothering me. Like, what's 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 the what's the point? What do they get out of it? Well, they must be getting a percentage. Why else would they do it? That's all I'm I asking. Know. I just have yeah. a lot of questions, John. I always have a lot of questions. You do. I mean, I, I'd so, have to see who I had left and who the other people had left before I would talk course. about that. Well, like, there's what, 13 left? But like this, The reason I wanted to bring it up was, you know, we talked all year about playing it week to week. A lot of people went out early by saving teams. And look at this poor bastard. Who was so savvy? Oh this guy no! Was so savvy, he saved the Dolphins until Week 14. They were a two-touchdown favorite. He was the only one that had them. Laugh, yeah. He was, he was so savvy, 
He was the only one that still had the Dolphins, who were the biggest favorite of the week by far. And they're up by 14 points with three minutes left, and they lose at home. And they knock the guy out of the contest. Oh. That is brutal. That, I mean, certainly the most brutal one ever is the guy that had the Colts last year, and they lost to Houston, who should have been trying to lose. But this Dolphins guy, he played it so well. He had the Dolphins left. Nobody else did. Everyone else is playing like the Packers and the yeah. Steelers who lost on Thursday. The Ravens, who very easily could have lost. Oh, we would add the Ravens in case you wanted to know. I saved the Ravens for oh, that I week. I, I agree with that. But they could have Not that easy. it wouldn't have been an absolute utter sweat, but we would have had the Ravens at you least because I was saving the Packers for week 18 against the you know Bears. Ruins my, uh, you know what ruins my Sunday every week is I got this stupid bet on the Falcons, two of them, season-long bets. And they, they're they always playing at 1 Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Every week. Yeah. They, they've only played why would they get? Week. They wouldn't get any primetime spots. Why would you do that? I don't know. So every Sunday, after I've emailed all of my bosses, what we're rooting for, blah, 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 and said hi to a few people, I settle in to watch the Falcons. That's the team why? I like. Just check the final score. I should I should really, like, watch a movie or something. I, Anything else? It, the Falcons are the worst. Uh, one last comment on last week, the Browns. Very interesting game. Like, I, I'm amazed that Jacksonville scored four touchdowns with Lawrence with a high ankle sprain. And if I had known – if you told me that Cleveland was going to throw for 300 yards and Jacksonville was going to turn the ball over four times, I would have said, well, then Cleveland must have won the game by 30 points. I, I Amazing game. Jacksonville goes for two at the end correctly, by the way. They don't get it. The Browns win by four. And now I'm 12 and two on that other show. Uh, you want on that other week? show? I'm very you proud of you. Week? Here's um, so here's no, what I wanted to go back to. You. You're not proud. If we wanted, if we were still involved and you wanted to hedge, yeah, I don't understand. Okay, so there's 13 people, so you're getting a little less than a million dollars, right? Um, I think the proposed chop that I saw on Twitter was like everybody gets half a million and then play for the remaining or something like that. Yeah, but, but don't if the you casino is offering you, but all thirteen people would have to agree to that. I wouldn't. Correct. Yeah, I wouldn't, right. I wouldn't be interested in that because I, I think that somebody would fuck us over in the end. That's my point. How I do would you? Not, make, that's no. what I've been saying this whole time. How do you know? Because the casino is not going to honor it. No casino is going to honor it. No matter if it's a, a you guys, if it's a casino downtown, if it's a off strip casino that they have contests as well in Las Vegas. No one's going to honor it because gaming or whatever's written in the legal rules per that casino, the owner of that entry is who owns that entry. The so owner's going to get the money. But correct. are you saying that they draw up legal contracts where like, we can sue you if you don't give us this? Or I guess. I, I haven't seen them. That's why I'm asking, like, how do we navigate this whole world of trusting 12 other people? You would have to trust us, right? Like, you could ruin my career if yeah. I very easily if I try to screw somebody over. But like, here's a story for you that happened last year. A guy and a guy that he worked with were in Vegas. He goes, come over here and sign this. What is that? Oh, I already paid for it. You're getting entries for the other eight guys or however many entries they had at the at, at back at work. Of course, the guy who didn't even know what he signed, that signed up for somebody at home, basically hijacked a significant amount of money from one of his other guys he worked with saying, well, it's my entry. Really? I mean, and that's a guy you work with. That's supposed to be like your work colleague. Why wouldn't you do that to a stranger? I mean, that's the, the very short story that I've been told, but I find it rather kind of crazy that people are just willy nilly and trusting buying things on the internet. I mean, mm -hmm. if you've ever been involved in a Zelle scam like myself, I was pretty pissed about $190. I think I'd be really pissed about $109 million or whatever, $1.9 million or whatever they're going to try to end up playing for. I, I just think it's very strange. And I wanted your opinion on what you would do, especially if the casino is offering a significant amount of money to hedge. Remember when you Venmoed the wrong John Murray? Oh, God, that sucks so bad. I was uh, so pissed. You got the money. Back. And luckily, Venmo saved my ass. But oh. I have Venmoed the wrong person a lot of times, and I just had to eat it. Uh, I would, what I would have wanted to do is a perfect world, right? Is we hang on to 51%. So we've got the voting control. We sell the other 49% for whatever 
whatever 49% of the chop, I don't know exactly what that would be. Me and you split up that money and we still have 51% of our entry. I wouldn't want to get into involved with 13 people. Maybe if it got down to like three people, maybe we could trust three people. I, I think. I mean, I I'm not too, a lawyer, but too early. I have, I think it's too early for the chop. I have had business contracts go awry. I have had other like contracts that lawyers have been, have scrutinized. I have seen real estate deals where it should be pretty cut and dry go awry and people are fighting over escrow money. I mean, there, it's not that black and white. And then now you're tying up all your money in legal fees. Sounds like hell. That's what I would want to do. That would be my answer. I like when people say, I like when people say stuff like, I'm not a lawyer. It's like, I know. I know. I know. You're I thought about it. And then I tried to study for the LSAT and I was like, screw this. This is hard. I don't think I'm smart enough. Honestly. I, I know. Yeah. I mean, have I you watched don't... Suits? So I watched Suits yeah. over the summer. I like binged it. Yeah. And obviously it's a TV show, but even the actors are smarter than I am for being able to articulate how smart yeah. lawyers are. Cause I'm yeah. not it. That's just not me. I, I'm not smart enough to be a lawyer. I'm not smart enough to be on Suits. I don't even know if I'm smart enough to watch Suits. But I did list a bunch of sharp college plays because remember last week you were all bitter that I was like, Kelly, it's, it's too far away to vet this stuff. It's not too far away because people can make their own adult decisions. Let's I go. What do we got? Sharp. Sure. First one's in the FCS semifinal, Montana against North Dakota State. They were playing on like plus two, plus one and a half. We got Montana minus one now. They play North Dakota. North Dakota State's coach left. Mm-hmm. He left. Uh, bowl games. I don't remember where he went. That's why I ended the sentence like that. Because I couldn't remember. Did he go to USC? He took a he took to an be assist- the uh, defensive coordinator. He took an assistant job. He's not a head coach. That's why I, I tried to play it off like it's he left. I don't remember where he went. That's why I did that. That's why I was being intentionally vague. Uh, bowl game. Old Dominion minus two against Western Kentucky. That is the famous toastery bowl. I had to write that down. I, I didn't remember that. The what bowl? Uh, famous toastery bowl. Yeah. Is that like the pop tart bowl or? I don't know. Like I a don't. toaster strudel bowl. Now this is a bowl. It's always pretty cool. I, I've been to this stadium, the Alamo Bowl. They took Oklahoma plus four against Arizona. I, I love the Arizona coach. He did such an underrated job this season. Uh, I'm just reporting what they bet. Uh, The Gator Bowl in Kelly's neck of the woods. Now, this one's moved a lot, but they took Kentucky plus seven. We're down to five. Kentucky plays Clemson in the Gator Bowl. Here's one. I believe this is a New Year's Day Bowl. Oregon minus 16 against Liberty. No bowl. Again, they took – it's 16 now, but did they take 16? Did they lay 16? 16. 16. Okay. Uh, Here's – and then two more I'll give you. Texas Tech, Tejas Tech, minus two and a half. That's the Shreveport Bowl. And the Myrtle Beach Bowl, Ohio and Georgia Southern, they played over 48. Honestly, we've seen really sharp groups on both sides of that game, but they played over 48. Uh, Mm. Final college notes. There's really not a whole lot to say about the Sugar Bowl right now, honestly. Like, we opened at four and a half. They bet Washington. They knocked us to four. There's not a lot to say. The Rose Bowl, though, is getting tons of business, tons of action, and almost 80% of the tickets are on the Crimson Tide. I want, I, I'm just waiting. Can I just get Michigan at a pick em? Can we get I that? I think you will. I, I do. I, okay. think, I think you will. Unless, unless like a really, really big group comes in on Michigan, I, I think you're. I, think you're I just, to. I don't see it. It's just, it's everybody's betting Alabama hand over fist, and they have since the opening, and the yeah. public hasn't even gotten involved yet. Right, like the general public's not betting that game three weeks out, are they? Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, they are. I mean, normally you definitely would be right, but this game is so big that they they uh, they are doing it. Uh, okay. Normal circumstances, you'd be right, but when when you have games like the Super Bowl, the national championship, that's not a good example because they wait for the matchup to be set. But the but the semifinal games, even though they are three weeks away, people are already betting. Do you want to talk about – what do you want to talk about first? Sharp NFL plays or the UFC? There's a UFC event on Saturday night here in Las Vegas. 
There is. What, There's a lot of stuff going on in Vegas here over the next six weeks. And I just I'm, found out I might have to come to Vegas in January as well. I'm going to a lot of stuff. I'm going to the fights. What's your dog going to think of that? To... You're just going to leave her at home alone? Of course not. I have a sitter. Ellie? I, you, you don't think I'd have a sitter for my little Ellie? Uh, I'm going. To, let's do the NFL. I'm going to this game tomorrow at Allegiant Stadium. Why? Very, do you hate yourself? No, very sharp group played Chargers plus three. Hmm. Plus, I have a ticket in a suite. And okay, ah, ha, ha. see, there we go. Yeah, I would never go otherwise. The, the way the game's being bet, the Chargers are the right side because, like, we've got some groups, we've got some groups that give us the wrong side on purpose, and we know that's what they're doing. And right. they're on the Raiders. And look, that doesn't oh, that doesn't mean that the Chargers are going to win, Kelly in Vegas. But I didn't say that it did. The Chargers are the right side of that game. Uh, I mean, here's maybe an overreaction to Easton Stick. I mean, is that what we're doing here? I don't know, but I, do, do the Raiders, do they even know who their quarterback is going to be in that game? I, Isn't it going to be Aiden O'Connell? I mean, does, is he I don't know again? even matter. I don't think it does matter. I, that offense are all... is terrible. Yeah, what's the difference? Uh, but the defense is pretty Raiders, solid. It is. Yeah, the, the Raiders defense is good. Um, two more. One Saturday. One Sunday, Saturday, Lions, they laid three and a half. The Lions host Denver. Lions are off a bad loss. The Lions have been playing bad football. So it could be a good yes, time to buy. Have. Well, they have. They, play. they should have lost that game at home to the Bears. They knocked me and KIV out of, thing, out of Survivor on Thanksgiving. They lost to the Bears on Sunday in Chicago. That was good. Keep, I liked that part. Keep in mind, Denver, this is their third straight road game. So it's a tough spot for them. They went at Houston. They played at the Chargers. Now they're at the Lions. That game's Saturday night. Sunday, speaking of a team that looks like garbage right now, the Saints. They yep. laid four and a half Saints. all the way up to six. They're against Kelly's quarterback, Tommy DeVito. Good sandwich spot. I like Tommy DeVito. I, I think it's a good story, and I, I like the guy. Yeah, it's a great story. He still lives at home with his mom. That just is telling uh, more kids to stay at home with their parents. I feel so bad for those people. In this economy, I well, uh, the game. So the big game Sunday is Dallas Buffalo, and I can tell you guys, Dallas is going to be a very public dog in that game. Of course Dallas they are. Is on fire right now. Crushed the Eagles on Sunday night last week, and uh, great. they're a very public dog in this game. Great game because you know Buffalo needs to win this game. Buffalo is still very much alive in the playoff race. I mean, the, the one thing I took away from this weekend. There's two teams that I'd want to avoid if I was a high seed. In the AFC, Buffalo. I wouldn't want any part of them. And in the NFC, I wouldn't want any part of the Rams. Like, if I was a high NFC seed, I would be hoping the Rams don't get in. They should have beat Baltimore on Sunday. They have a great coach. They've got all these veteran players. They know what to do. That team is dangerous. The Bills are also very dangerous. You want to do uh, – you know what? There's a UFC question in the mailbag, so we can just just go into the mailbag. You want to do it? Yep. Fernando two on X says, "When does a book start posting next year's odds for college football futures, and how do they deal with the transfer portal madness?" Well, the second part, I, I don't know. I mean, that, that's a lot to deal with. It, it's it's funny now in college football, pretty much every all every player is a free agent every year. It's well, kind of, <laughs> the portal so, closes when. Like August, we've got we've got uh, Ed Sammons and Chase Michelson tracking that college football stuff. Uh, it's tough. I mean, normally we always did it. Okay, so the transfer portal is December fourth until January second, apparently. Okay, so that that's good because we used to always get up the odds for next year the same weekend as the championship game. So I don't see why we wouldn't stick with that as why the plan. Why did play. I think that you could go? Did you guys hear that? I have a yep. dog fight in my office. That's okay. This is not good. No. Dog's great. Yeah, well. Listen, I'm a single parent right now. This has been really hard. Try Look, there they are just Who cares? living their people, best life. People like dogs. I love them, but can you get the hell out of my office, please, so I can work? I was on a call this morning. I'm getting hit by a tail. 
I was on a call this morning and Ellie ran into the room I was in and jumped up in my lap and started licking my face. Did I get mad at her? No, it was cute. But okay, but that's different because you weren't on like a Zoom. No, I was. I just that's didn't like the third the time that's happened to me today. I just didn't turn the camera on. It was like it was a Microsoft Teams. Teams, even more just great. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll do it right around the time of the national championship game. It's a lot to juggle. We gotta do it in college basketball and college football. Nothing is as annoying as the NBA with the players not playing in their games. Uh that's so the worst. That's I'm in a group chat with Errol Epstein, who does a lot of stuff for NBA TV, and then Hakeem Prophet, who works for me at Wager Talk. Yep. And I just like to get some of their intel, like, because I, it's not that I don't want to focus on the NBA right now, but it's just too much. When you have the NFL, college football, college basketball, I just like I don't start focusing on hockey till after college basketball is over. You can only have so know, many. I didn't know you ever focused on hockey. I love hockey. In no, like I know, I know April and like May and June. Oh, hold on. I, I like, like playoff hockey. hockey. How about that? I, I never said you didn't like hockey. I know you do. I've been to a Knights game with you. I'm saying I didn't know the – I don't recall you focusing on betting on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been betting – Dave Koken sends me all of his hockey. I bet it all the time. Doesn't mean I really have a chance to watch it. I just right. trust that he's got good stuff. Anyway, so I'm in a group chat with those two, and it's like a meltdown every day because it'll be – 10 a.m. Eastern, so 7 a.m. Pacific, and they're going through, okay, great. And then all of a sudden at 4 to 7 p.m., everything, all hell breaks loose oh, because really? they're either lying about injuries, guys are opting out for that evening. I, I thought that this in-season tournament was supposed to help with that, and it kind of did, but now we're right back to the same bullshit. Greg Popovich ruined the NBA regular season. He Correct. extended the careers of Timmy Duncan – Tony Parker, managing ugly by doing this shit. Now everybody does it. And you know what? That's there. That, let's go off track for a second. How come Belichick is getting all this scrutiny and they're talking about firing him and nobody says anything about Greg Popovich? Greg Popovich won the lottery for the second time. He got a generational pro prospect. Prospect, he's generational. I don't know what's going to happen with his career. But as a prospect, he's like the best one since LeBron, they say. And I, I think the Spurs have lost like 17 games in a row, 16 games in a row. When does Popovich get into the hot seat? They love him in San Antonio. I don't fully understand it, but I'm also not you have to remember, I feel like San Antonio is a lot more chill than Boston. Well, I'm sure everything like, is more chill than Boston and Philadelphia, but you're okay. Fair point. Uh, go to the next one. Yeah, the, the answer is uh, the week uh, that we the week okay. the to decide, we go to the next one. Five, Kevin Balls on X and Vince PGH on X both have similar questions. Yeah. Uh, Kevin wants to know, who does John Murray want to win the main event in UFC 296? What are the books action like so far? Expect to be for the fights this weekend. Any sharp to report on UFC 296? And what is the expected handle like for a fight card in Las Vegas versus elsewhere? What was it, like an eight-part question? Well, it's uh, two guys with two questions each. So that our producer just shoved together in one question. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really. I don't like the way it was presented. Uh, that our really sharp UFC guy hasn't played anything yet. Um, he last week was funny though. Like you got to remember the the good ones, the bad ones. He had to play last week. We needed that side to win. It was a female fight, the first fight of the card. The girl that we needed that he bet lost. She lost the fight. And they gave her a split decision. Uh, so that was that was very good for us. Very lucky, because there's no way she won that fight. Uh, but they gave it to her. And that, look, I find it very interesting. Risk. I'm not saying the UFC's fixed by any means, but I've seen some split decisions that are just rather like, how? I think it's, I, I honestly, I'll tell you this right now, I think it's incompetency from the judges, especially when they go outside of Nevada. This fight, I believe, was in, no, that was at the Apex. That was in Nevada. No, I don't know. There's no excuse then. It was just a bad... There's bad no fight. excuse for bad judges, just like there's no excuse for bad refs, but we see it every single week. We're going to have a very good handle on this because it's in town. It's a very good card. Uh, who am I going to be rooting for in the main event? Whichever side that we need. I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of both those guys. Leon Edwards is great. Colby Covington's great. Um, should be a lot of fun. Patty Pimblett is fighting. Tony Ferguson. There's a, there's a bunch of really good fights. I'll just be rooting for whatever the book needs. Boring answer, but it's true. Brian, we four four five three six one 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 on X says, 
That's what approach? Can I say is. that? That's what, what approach do both of you take when capping a game? Do you prefer trends or is it based on personal research or a mix of both? I feel like I'll give the short answer because I've already talked about this before. I think the number one thing is the math. Then if you're, you're going to find a handful of games that are off numbers wise, right? Like if you're doing power ratings, they're probably going to be similar to Vegas and you're not going to find a ton of value on a half point here or there. That's when you kind of want to get into the meat and potatoes for me at least. Look at scheduling spots, look at overreactions in the marketplace, and so forth. We, I think we talked about this a few weeks ago, so I'll let John Murray take the floor. No, I like, I like your answer. I like the overreactions in the marketplace. I think that's why I mentioned the sharp NFL plays, Lions, Saints. You know, you talk about two teams that nobody would really want a part of right now. I know the Lions did win a couple weeks ago against the Saints, but both those teams are playing really bad right now. So the wise – and look at the Chargers. They look See, and it, horrible this against is, Denver. They lost their quarterback. It, yeah, I like I like the I like the buy low, sell high. I do too. But here's my thing, and then I turn around and bet the Pats this week plus nine. I love this spot for the Patriots. Yeah. I think it's going to be really low scoring, ugly. But then you could argue: Is this a buy low spot on Kansas City? Well, or is the I, bottom not falling out yet? I'm annoyed with the Patriots. Because I had them two weeks ago. They scored zero points. They lost six to zero. They lost actually, by the hook. Which is kind of funny, right? But then they you go wait, out on, you, yeah. Then they go out on Thursday night football in Pittsburgh and they score twenty one points in the first half. My like, Fancy Zappy. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm still I'm annoyed with the Patriots. Although we I, have some really good Italian quarterbacks and some really not good Italian quarterbacks right now. Bailey I like, Zappi, uh, good. Tommy DeVito, good. Jimmy Garoppolo. Bailey, He's good. I don't know about. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure I agree with that. He Keep looks good against the Steelers' defense. You got to admit that he did for, played very well in the first half. It's true. That was almost a compliment. I think you guys heard that. Uh, at underscore pickle Q on X says any at any time does a bookmaker or odds maker look at a line with other books and think it's completely wrong? How do they adjust, or is that completely separate? Yeah, I did on Sunday. I even I even texted the guys at work because the second the second half line or the guys in the risk risk room I should say because the second half line was Denver plus two and a half when I knew that Justin Herbert was out and I'm texting the guys I'm like what the fuck is that second half line Herbert is out and you know the market was all that's what the market was so you know sometimes you gotta you gotta think a little bit on your feet I mean you can't. You know what? A lot of times there's so many events. Is your dog doing something? Yeah, so, I need help. The, the, I need. The, she's the, like underneath the, of my chair. You're not going to get the help. Chair. You're not going to get the help you need. If I was there, I would side with the dog. Uh, the, there's so many events. Sometimes you you have to rely on the market to guide you because you don't know what's going on. But on something like that, you know, think a little bit on your feet. Justin Herbert is out of the game. Denver's getting the ball first in the second half. Why would they be plus two and a half? In the second half, Denver, Denver did win that second half. But yeah, you you've got to be you cannot just blindly follow the market. And I can't tell you how many times in my career. Yeah, but wouldn't you say over fifty percent of books do that? Oh, it's way over fifty percent. Okay. And I'm even admitting that I'm admitting that we do it on a lot of stuff, like all these soccer leagues, and we don't know. So, I mean, some of our some of our guys do know, like Sherman, but. I don't okay, know. so for example, okay, soccer, fine, We're Russian done. table tennis, Korean baseball, whatever, all those. I'm talking like NFL, college football, college ba- – let's use college basketball totals, okay? So yeah. we know that when you guys we open have, the totals up, that there is very low limit. Today. The college basketball totals, we have a formula for the second half totals. So No, that, I'm talking about just like the openers. Oh, right? well, so, yeah, you're looking at the market for that stuff. Sure. That's what or I mean. Looking, you have to. Otherwise, you're, you're just getting picked some, off. You're looking at some websites too that have projections. We don't need to get into which ones, but yeah, we look at that stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, I was not happy about that Broncos second half thing. I can see that. All right, at Mark Best Picks on X says, if Kelly in Vegas was the head coach of the Steelers and it's fourth and two, what play would she run? Yeah, and would her assistant John Murray back her up? What? Well, that's for you. What would you run? I would definitely not start off in the shotgun. I can tell you that. 
Okay. Uh, I would – well, I think it depends on how the defense is lined up if you have to call an audible. But I would probably either, depending on who my quarterback was, and I guess if we're using the Steelers, I have to use Mitch Trubisky. I would probably just dump it off to the running back. Mike Tomlin would punt for 24 yards. That's what he would do. Um, so much of going for it on fourth down should be about who your should be about who your quarterback is. That's why I was. Like if, that's why I was like, I oh, it's Mitch Trubisky, Pat Holmes, or Josh Allen. I'm gonna yes. go for it. If I have Correct. Mitch Trubisky, I might punt. I would call Spider Two Y Banana. That would be my play if Kelly allowed me to call the plays, which she wouldn't. Kelly is is very much a boss. No, if I was the head coach, that's why you. Okay, see, this goes back to the whole original argument when I was yeah. pissed off about the K State president, right. you put people in position as a leader to succeed and you let them succeed. If I was head coach, John Murray jokes on you. I'm not calling the plays. I have a competent okay. offensive coordinator that I have my trust in. There's would, you the hire a, would you hire a math nerd to tell you what to do in these situations? And if, if the answer is yes, would you actually listen to him or her? So I don't know how exactly it works. Mm -hmm. For each team, right? Each team's going to have different positions and who's allowed to call. And we've heard like head coach say, okay, I'm going to start doing this. I would have somebody in the booth or somebody pick up the phone or you're talking the headset, what, whatever, to say, here's what you need to do on X play. If the overwhelming percentage is to go for it or to punt or, you know, I, I, I don't think I'd want to know every single, like, okay, like ev ev eventually you've got to like. No, push. just on, just on fourth it, down, like fourth well, down. Well, not even just fourth down. It's like, do you kick the field goal here or do you go for it? You, you know, like, well, yeah. we're on the 35. So the math actually says here, kick the field goal. But if we're on the 14, the math says time. go for it. Yeah. So, okay. so if the overwhelming, like, let's say it was over. 65% of the time, this is going to be a successful play run, then yes, I would listen to the math. So you, but if he goes, ah, it's a coin flip, then you just make a decision. What if the guy or girl, well, let's say it's a guy. It's definitely what not if, a girl. What if the guy was five foot one? You would have never hired him. I'm not saying I would have never hired him. Right. That's a little and heightish. also, he's not in a position of power. Have right. you seen Napoleon? No, I heard it sucked. I heard it sucked too, so I haven't seen it. But that's yeah. what that reminds me of. Okay, that's fair. All right, so a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of height jokes this week. All right, next. All right, Danny K731 on access. Do you think we ever get to the point where the books offer the option for you to bet sides and totals with the caveat that it excludes overtime? So just regular – don't – books do do that. I've, I've seen that. I've seen that no, in No, I've never seen it in, like, college football or NFL. Live markets where you could bet, you could bet like um, – in regulation scores. Yeah. I've seen that in hockey. Yeah. Like I've seen different books say includes OT or you, you basically can make the bet in regulation. That makes sense to me. Um, but I have not seen it in say NFL. I think they have that in live NFL betting, but you just, you gotta be careful with that stuff because so many people don't understand it. You know, that's why we get into a lot of gaming cases with the two-way and three-way soccer because people don't understand their team scores a goal in overtime and Doesn't it's like, uh, no, or not overtime, uh, extra, time. extra stoppage time or and whatever. Like, no, in stoppage time, it counts because oh. it's 90 minutes plus injury time. It's okay. extra time. They'll score the goal in extra time. They're like, look, I won. And it's like, well, no, actually you lost because it was a draw in regulation. And then we end up in gaming cases because Ugh. of that. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce this. T H no T C H account on X says, <laughs> I don't know. Who is your survivor pick on Thanksgiving Day next year? You know, I read this. Maybe I'm being defensive. I read this as he is taking a shot at us. But I want to thank you, T C H account, because you're implying or saying that we're going to make it all the way to Thanksgiving again next year, which is no small feat. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be the Cowboys, not the Lions. Okay, great. Uh, at BD underscore CD 11 on access, how can the same street intersect with itself? Well, the short answer is you'd have to be at the nexus of the universe. Do you, do you, but more importantly, no, do you you guys are talking about, I saw that tweet and I'm like, what are you guys talking about? 
It's Seinfeld. It's Seinfeld. Okay. Uh, at, at, at Braxton Dart. But <laughs> Kelly Vegas being a Florida resident, does she believe another baseball team in Orlando would be better for sports betting in the state? I've been talking to government officials in Central Florida to get an expansion MLB team for the future. Do I think it's going to help with sports betting? I don't know. I mean, I live Florida. not that far from the trop, and the place is an absolute and utter dump. But maybe mm -hmm. when they build a new stadium like they're supposed to, I don't think it's going to help with sports betting, though. I mean, Does there's 37 Florida, million people that live here. Can Florida support three MLB franchises? Aren't they, like, barely supporting the two that they have? That's what I mean. Nobody goes. You can get cheap tickets to the trop. We went on, like, July 2nd, and we sat on the third baseline for, like, 80 bucks a person. Like, great seats. No, I know. Well, I love going to baseball games. I, I haven't been to – I went to the old Marlins Stadium. Uh, I've not been to the new one, and I've never been to the Tampa Stadium. I heard that the Tampa Stadium is not very good. But I was, I, was I, looking at, I was looking at going there this summer because the Nationals have road series in the summer against both those teams. And it's so, indoors, so even though it's going to be hotter than hell outside, it won't be that bad. Can I, before I let you go, I, I got I to gotta criticize you one more time. I don't like what you said earlier about grandma. When you, when you thought you were going to lose the bet, you said that, you were gonna, that she'd have to be a Walmart greeter. Are yeah. you saying that's the only job that old people are capable of doing? That's the only job that grandma is capable of doing. <laughs> wow. I that's, love grandma. But that is the yeah. only, at this point in time, that is the only job she's capable of doing. She can't drive herself. Well, we don't want her to anyway. <laughs> She so you so that's out. You can't go yeah, drive not, to a job. I'd have to take her. She's not gonna be an Uber and driver. Like she's Walmart greeters are great because you just get to sit in your chair. So she's got one of those chairs she pushes and or sits in, or we can push her in it. So she just sits there and you just say hi to everybody and you either hand out stickers to little kids or you ring the bell or yeah, that would pretty much that would be it. Well, there's just there were so many heightest comments from you today. I don't want people to yes, also all five foot three of me. Yeah, I don't want you to. I don't. It's different for a woman. Oh, okay. Is uh, it? Is it though? Because I mean, I get everybody that meets me in person is like, "Oh, you're a lot shorter than I thought you'd be." And I'm like, how? But "That's how." Every time you meet a celebrity, you're surprised by how small they are. You're a big celeb. Everyone, for some reason, people think celebrities are going to be big. Well, I don't want. I don't want people to think that you're also an ageist. You're just a heightist. You don't care about age, right? I mean. I care about age in terms of who I'm dating. Well, that's well, who I gotta tell you a funny story when we get done with the show about last night. That was that was that was an ageist comment that was made towards me. It was it was wonderful. I'll talk to you about that privately. I'll see you next week for the show.